hi guys welcome back to the channel so today i wanted to share with you guys how i pack my orders now this particular order is from instagram i do take most of my orders from instagram but i also have an etsy shop and hopefully by summer 2020 i'll have a website so we're gonna go ahead and pack these and these are the cups that i made it's a paris theme so it's poodle and mustaches so this is the front of the cups and then when you turn them around it's the little Paris theme and they are 16 ounce cups so I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you guys how I packaged orders so I'm gonna use this box to package it it was 62 cents at Walmart and I'm currently waiting for my boxes to come in that I ordered from my tumblers and those boxes I got on Amazon. So we're just going to build this box. I'm going to put a few layers of tape to secure the box. Even though the box is not heavy, I just want to make sure that it's safe. Alright, so our box is built. Okay, so now that our box is built, um, I have this bubble wrap. So I'm just going to put one on the bottom like that and then I'm going to take some tissue paper and a little tip that I have for you guys shop the holiday clearance like Christmas and Valentine's Day um, because you can get your tissue paper for literally like 30 cents 20 cents and that way you can stock up so that's what that looks like and then I am going to, so these are the cups. She ordered 25 Paris themed cups. So these are the cups. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap the cups up to keep them safe. Alright, so I wrap them like that. And then the lids, I'm just going to count them really quick one more time. I counted my lids. And now for the lids, I'm going to take another piece of tissue paper. And I'm just going to wrap it. And I'm going to place it right over here. And then for these... Um, the tissue paper is in there, but I'm going to take the tissue paper out because I just used it to take pictures for my Instagram and my Etsy store. So I'm just going to take these with their lids. Wrap these up. Put that right there so that is nice and snug there's not too much room for them to move around which is good and then I have a thank you card that I bought at Michael's clearance it just happened to be Paris theme I didn't intend for it to be Paris theme but it works out perfect and it's pink so I'm just gonna write her a thank you note okay so I just wrote her a little note it just says, Jen, thank you so much for always supporting and trusting me. Hope you love the cups. XOXO, Jen. And if you hear growling, that's Elijah. He's learning how to roll over. So that's his rolling over sound. 
So I'm just going to slip this in here. And then with all of my orders, I try to include like a little thank you gift. So I make these keychains. Um, I make a ton of them. So this is just a tumbler keychain. And it has like a little feather charm and a tassel. So I make these with my leftover um, epoxy and my resin. And the ones that I decorate, like if I put a word on them, I sell those. But if I don't put anything on them um, and I intentionally make them with X. Um, extra epoxy then I don't sell those because um, usually like they don't coordinate very well so I give them as a thank you gift so I just included these and put that in there and then I'm gonna put one more bubble wrap and then we're just going to seal these in Actually, this bubble wrap doesn't fit, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the tissue paper that I crumbled up. And there we go. It's going to close this up. Now, I would usually add a business card to these, but I currently don't have any business cards. And uh, Jen, she was one of my co-workers, so she always orders stuff for me, and I do her birthdays. And I do make all of her daughter's birthday things every year, so. But if this wasn't... <laughs> if this... I'm gonna wrap this up if this wasn't for Jen and this was for another client I would definitely make sure to just run and get some business cards from like office max or um, like staples or something like that just to have them in here for her but this is what the box looks like and then my post office is self-service so all I got to do is just go in and put in her address and then it will print out label make it nice and professional looking and that is it that is how I package my orders don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.